the next thing we want to do, let's say the rigging wasn't exactly like we liked it, and we have to rig it by hand. We have a really complicated model with like lots of arms and legs and stuff, and you use the auto joint thing, and it has like all the legs are attached to each other, and it doesn't move right. So you have to rig it by hand. Here's how we do that: select joint. Uh, actually, we do select vertex on this tab, and we go to the joint here on this tab, and we start at the center of gravity. And first, we create a box around it, and we select all those. Whoop. I forgot to press shift. Shift. Shift holds on to our uh, our selection there and adds additional selections to it. So now we have selected the model. And we click on um, where is it? I lost a button. Oh maybe it's over here. Assign, yes, it's over here. Assign. It's probably a keypad thing for it. You guys can find it. I know lots of people like hotkeys. I'm sure there's one. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't care. I'll just use it like this. Okay, so now the whole model is assigned to the center of gravity. This is important later uh, because when you move, if the whole model doesn't have a base root in the center of gravity, then um, it can forget what it's doing. And and you'll have like a... Th a th wing that's like off by itself or something. Okay, so now we're at joint two, and we just kind of do this sort of like uh, ripples on a pond. So we shift, and we select all these, and assign, and select, shift, assign, and select, shift, uh, I don't want that one selected, so I right-click to unselect that vertex and assign. I think I can probably zoom in here a little better. And here's our head. And shift. There. Yeah, see? Sorry, I wasn't zoomed in enough for you. Click and assign. Now we're back here at the tail, on the other side of the center of gravity. So we go shift, select assign, my mouse is escaping, assign, and shift, select, assign, and you have to double click over here to select these, remember, not one click, but double click. So shift, select, assign, double click, shift, select, assign. And now our little guy is all rigged again. So we'll save it first before we go to animation mode. And I'm going to put a rigged 2 after this in case I don't like it. And I can go back to my earlier save. So now it's saved. And now we can test it. So we come back to the model and select joint. Um, and let's go ahead and rotate this, w see what happens. Yeah, see, now his little tail, it can wiggle around. Just like that. And if I want to, I can move it down. And rotate a little bit like that. Move it down. And then we'll set keyframe. And now it will be set like that. And it will show us these yellow things here. And then to make another keyframe, see right now we have a total of one keyframe. If we want more keyframes, we have to come down here. See down here in this right hand corner. And we tell it how many keyframes we want. And it says one right now. So we'll do 20. Press somewhere here, we press 20. It's not going to work. It's not giving me my keyframes. I know that sort of said it. Well, oh, there they are. Yes. Give me 10. So 10 out of 10. We have 10 keyframes now. Oh, this is the frames per second. That's right. So I said the frames per second there. Okay. 
So now you can see I'm on keyframe 1, keyframe 2. So now I'll select a different joint and rotate it. And move. And set keyframe. And now then I have an animation. See how this works? And his little tail wiggles just like that. And that's how you make it work.